Oh, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Here we discuss a discovery project. I'll explain what that is in a bit and go over patterns and integrals and look at question one. Basically, uh, this discovery project is a section in my calculus book called, well, Discovery Project, which explores specific topics in greater and, well, more interesting detail. In this project, a computer algebra system, or CAS, is what's well, going to be used to investigate indefinite integrals of families of functions and by observing the patterns that occur in the integrals of several members of the family, we will be able to first guess, then prove a general formula for the integral of any member of the family. So for question one, we will look at well, this family of integrals right here, which is uh, these over here. So question 1a states, use a computer algebra system to evaluate the following integrals. Integral of 1 divided by x plus 2 times x plus 3. And, and then question, well, the second one, ii, is 1 divided by x plus 1 times x plus 5. And then we go on to x plus 2, x minus 5. Then we have x plus 2 squared, or x plus 2 times x plus 2. So it's similar, but they're the, both the same, the uh, coefficients. So now, based on the pattern of your, your responses in part A, guess the value of this general integral, integral of 1 divided by x plus A times x plus B, for, well, the uh, two cases where A equals to, A is not equal to B, and 2, A equals to B, so that's this one right here. So we have something like that, that example. And then also, uh, part C says, check your guess by asking your CAS to evaluate the integral in part B, and then prove it using partial fractions. So if we look at part A, and now we will solve these using a CAS, and like I showed in my earlier videos on CAS, uh, you could just go and Google Integral Calculator or other different uh, types of well, online CAS or computer algebra systems. And this one uses a CAS to solve integrals. So the first example is right here, 1 divided by x plus 2 times by x. And you make sure you get the brackets right, x plus 3. And let's just scroll this up. So this uh, auto writes if you go like this, etc. It auto writes it. Press enter. So yeah, if we solve it, uh, it goes to right here. So the integral is well, ln x plus two minus ln x plus three plus a constant c. And I'll copy all these in a bit. Now the next one is well, x plus one plus five. Let's see what this gets. So we can go and minus this plus five plus one. Enter. Now we got here, this is a negative 1 over 4, and then times it by, well, ln x plus 5 minus ln x plus 2. Then we keep going, there's a 2 and a 5, and the other one is just plus 2 squared, so 2 and negative 5. So let's go here, this is going to be, well, a 2, I mean, a negative, and then a 2. Solving this, we get, well, 1 over 7, and the negative 1 over 7, ln x plus 2, minus ln x minus 5, and plus constant. So let's go to the last one, which is, well, squared. I'll, uh, I'll remove this bracket right there. So x plus 2 squared, press enter. Now we got this, negative 1 divided by x plus 2 plus c. So there's no natural log in this uh, particular one. All right now, so I've copied and pasted those answers we got here. So this is the first one. This is the second one right here with the answer. The third one. The f and then the last one right here, which is the only different case than ours. So yeah, now let's uh, look at part B, which is based on the pattern of responses of part A. Guess the value of the integral for these two cases. A, equal a is not equal to B and A equals to B of the integral of the general form 1 divided by x plus b times x um, times x plus a. So let's write this down. b for, let's go with the first case, a is not equal to b. Uh, we get, well, the integral of 1 divided by um, 
x plus a over x plus b dx. Now we gotta see what this will equal to. Yeah, based solely on finding patterns from our uh, calculation. So this one here, this is the second case um, because there's a squared right there, so there a equals to b. So let's just look at the first three examples. So if we look at, uh, let's compare these first two right here initially. You have this, well, one divided by x plus two times x plus three. Now this one, there's no coefficient in front, but this one here, there's a plus one, plus five. There's a one, a negative one over four. And, but they still have the same uh, negative lawn. So there's always a negative everywhere, always a negative. Even the third one, there is a negative lawn. Now the only difference between uh, these two in terms of, well, just the, the look of it, you could see that this x plus two, it goes in, f they put it in front, and this x plus three went over here. Remove this, so, but versus this one here, we have this x plus one, it crisscrosses, I'll erase this, and then it's x plus five crisscrosses. So to make these equal in terms of uh, crisscrossing, is even here, yeah, this x minus five, and here we, well, crisscross again. This one here, x plus two goes to here. So to make it all the same as this crisscross, because there's two of them versus one, let's do the same thing here. And we can do that by taking this negative out. So this equals to, well, negative times it by ln x plus three now minus ln x plus two. So just to make it more consistent so we can find a, a pattern more easily. So now let's look at, now it has a negative uh, out there. We could, uh, to make it look the same as this, let's put it as negative one over one. So we're not changing anything, we're just writing it like this. So now it's negative one over one, it's negative one over four, etc. So this is basically what a calculus book is just trying to trick us and with this pattern change, now to make it slightly different look than this, but they're all a similar uh, look. So now we can see a pattern derived. Let's see, how do we get this, um, this negative one over one. First, let's look at this negative one over four first. To get one over four from what we have, this one and, and five, this would equal to, well, negative, actually we don't need to put the negative, we'll just put, let's go with one divided by negative one, actually not negative one, one minus uh, this right here, five. Yeah, one minus five, or or uh, even better yet, just put a negative in front, and now we can go with this five minus one. So that's this. Cr uh, so this this one here on the right, we'll consider that as like a b, and this one as the a there. So we have uh, like this, which equals to well one over b minus a. So we're assuming that this is the pattern, which and as you can see, it actually quite is. So if we go the same thing here, this negative one over seven we can make it from this negative five and two. So we go this, this is our, our uh, right side, so our B side, this is our A side, so we got two, yeah, two minus, and then now there's a negative five, it becomes positive, then we're gonna have one over, well, seven, negative one over seven, and that's where we get this there. And now we can go back to this one because it looks slightly different with this negative one over one. And now this is our B side, right there and that's our a side so we got negative one over three minus two which equals to negative one over one which equals to well negative one and that is correct so we can guess this whole thing so we guess it by the pattern well um, where was that negative one over b minus uh, a so negative this equals to one over b minus a and now we could put the brackets in lawn of x plus x plus b and because that's the right side of there that's our b side minus now ln x plus a and plus c so that's our guess for well the formula for the general formula for this one and again yeah always at the constant they all have a constant uh, here so now let's look at part b i mean part two so where a equals to b so you have, well, they're all both equal, so one over x plus a squared dx. Let's see what this equals to. So we're only given this, so this two goes away. 
uh, becomes well gone and then you have a negative there and it's just one divided by well x plus two so in this case we'll just go with negative one over x plus uh, a so this is only using the patterns we've derived from there and uh, in fact if you know uh, your basic integral formulas of this this is actually the right answer for this one so Yes, so now if we go back up and it says check your guess by asking your cast to evaluate the integral in part b, then prove it using partial fractions. So if we pull up the browser again, so now let's look at the first part, put the bracket x plus a times, or just put this like this, x plus b. So now we could solve this like this. And now we get this answer negative, well, 1 over b minus a times ln x plus b minus ln x plus a plus c. This is exactly the same answer we had uh, guessed. And now the second part is, well, squaring this, you can put a bracket like that, enter. And now we get, well, negative 1 divided by x plus a plus c. So there is our answer. And here if I copy and paste those same answers, there it is. Uh, this is the first case, and that's exactly what we had right here. So this negative 1 over b minus a, so it's the same thing. Now this negative 1 over x plus a, so that's also the same thing as well. And now if we prove this using, well, partial fractions, we could uh, solve this also quite easily. So the first one, yeah, we have 1 over x plus b times x plus yeah, this plus, and there's plus a plus b. This equals two, like I showed in my earlier videos. a plus x plus a, and then plus capital B, x plus b. Now we multiply everything by x plus b times x plus a, so we get, and this all cancels there, one equals two, x plus b, x plus a's cancel, and then we have b, x plus a, and the x plus b's cancel. So now we could guess values here, just to simplify it, we need to solve for a and b. At x equals to negative a, we do that, so that this, I mean at x equals to negative b, so, yeah, so this goes to zero if we do that. So if we do that, plug it in, this goes to zero, and we're just left with now one equals to b negative uh, small b plus a, which equals two, so now we could solve for b, and then b equals 2, divide this out, 1 over, and also take a negative out. So I'll we'll take this negative out, so now 1 over b minus a. I'll just switch it around just because we're used to the b minus a. That's what b equals 2, and now so similarly if we go at x equals 2, negative um, a, so that this cancels out. So we do that to, so that, that cancels out we're left with 1 equals 2a times it by, now we have this x, which is going to be our negative a plus b. And then divide this out and rearrange, we get a equals 2, 1 over b minus a. Yeah, so basically, uh, it putting this inside the integral and using this new coefficients version, we get integral of 1 over x plus a times x plus b is equal to, well then the dx right here is equal to integral, it's the same thing as writing and then taking this one over b out. So I will take this one over b minus a out of this integral and now we're left with, well, the a, yeah, the a becomes, well, one minus uh, b minus a right there and this one is this negative one minus b minus a and we took it out. Yeah, I'm skipping some steps right there, but I'll just uh, simplify it in. So I'll just write that down somewhere here. So eventually, this put these all in, we get um, right here 1 over b minus a times, I'll just uh, avoid skipping steps and if you get confused. So now the b is negative 1 divided by b minus a times it by x plus b. And then I just take out obviously this one over b minus a out and put this out and put that into the integral. Yeah, and put that in an integral. We get one over x uh, plus a minus one over x plus b and dx right here. This equals two. 
So we're going to get ln of the x plus a, but we want the negative side, so we'll just put a negative sign inside. So we could just flip everything and just go 1 minus b minus a times it by, we'll bracket, and I'll move this around. This is going to be ln x plus b. I just I just quickly put the negative, um, with, just skip this step, put a negative in front. So it looks exactly like the one we had. dx, I mean, not dx, plus c. So there is our answer, uh, proving it using partial fractions, and that's the exact same one as this and our own right here and now for the first I mean for the second case I'm not going to go over the proof for that you can see video link below for that this is just a basic um, uh, basic integral formula for this one here just uh, this is just a, uh, a power of two and that one well the integral is always you minus one there and then you divide by uh, whatever it was yeah whatever it was you're left with so if this is going to be this is the same thing as power of uh, to the negative two this is x plus a negative two so this would go well x plus a negative one and then divided by negative one here and that's this integral right there so I'm not going to go over that right now but anyways, that's all for today. If you learned from this pretty interesting video on you, how you could prove it, general forms of uh, general integral equations without, uh, yeah, with basically using computers to uh, find patterns in different integrals. Anyways, that's all for today. Like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.